two Hines separate him off front. Winlight Mason, 23, dead five, gets it done. Dean, 43, takes seven to be two under, no good. Winlight goes to Cole Mason. Josh Bryan, left hand side, dialed 594, taking on David Harvey the third, right side, dialed 680. Gets their seven thou as Brian, 61 dead, one no good. David Harvey the third advances. That'll bring up Josh Epperson left side, the Danger Ranger. Dial 635, taking on Andrew Lindemood right hand side. The Poots Power Ramps entry, dial 656 in the GTO. Here we go, Poot. Go team. That's all I got to say. We're really good at pulling in the staging lanes. Incredible, even. I've pretty much been neglected in the booth here. Just all these young kids just attracted to their phones. What are we doing? Seven thousand. Epperson is at ten and clicks it off early. Going to move on. Bad Brad Pluer, left hand side dialed six seventy seven, taking on Chris Strange on the right dialed six sixty four. Take 12 to be three above. Strange, 37 and three above. No good. Bad Brad Plourd advances. Luke Siebert, left-hand side. Wheeling ADs, right dial 655. Taking on CJ Mulkey in the right dial 673. Siebert, 22, and stops to be two above as Mulkey, 10, take 41 to be six thou under. Siebert advances. Mohall, left-hand side, dialed 669, taking on Brooks Stevens in the right, dialed 603. Jonathan McCandless left side, dialed 681. Taking on Brent Hyatt right side, dialed 607.
Wilderness 21, one above, get there 23 thou as Hyatt. 38 and two over, no good. Eric Toff, left hand side, dialed 595, checking on Lucas Walker in the right. Walker dialed 578. Zero gets the win, and we'll move into round number six. Cody Barnhart left side, down 621 out of Coleman, Alabama, in the new-to-him hot rod. Taking on Jamie Holston, right side out of Rural Retreat, Virginia. Dialed 621. Yes, I know. Sounded bad. Rural Retreat, Virginia. It's hard to say. That's a lot of R's. Heads up bracket race right here for Barnhart and Holston. Should be a good one. Seven thou under Barnhart, three thou red, and clicks it off. Jamie Holston moves on. Is that to bring up Zach Combs left side dialed six thirty three? Taking on Tez Powell right side. Powell also dialed six thirty three. Combs out of Demosville, Kentucky, in the Starfire. Powell in the Chevelle out of Morganton, North Carolina. Take seven to be two above as Combs 43 dead five comes up seven foul short. Winlight goes to Tez Powell. He's back. Trey Sharf left hand side. My dad dialed 634. Taking on Chris Fields in the right dial 582. Seventeen dead zero take nine thou as sharp thirty one and five thou under no good Chris Fields moving on Sean Pitts left side dialed six eighty taking on Justin Holston right side dialed six twenty eight. Holston gets the win, 32, take 29 to be two above as Pitts, 47, and three above, no good. Justin Holston moves on. 
Ron Cowan, left-hand side. Dialed 680, taking on B.L. Stevens, right side, dialed 648. Stevens 15, three above, take three thou, Ron Cowan 33 and two over, no good. David Bell left hand side, double O dialed 597, taking on Lee Norton in the right, dialed 664. take 13 thou bell 29 and three above no good lee norton gets it done phil combs left hand side phil billy dialed 632 taking on ross freeman on the right dialed 693 16 dead one lays down 17 total Freeman 16 take two to be a thou under had to take a thou or less sat it down pretty hard but didn't get it done Phil Combs wins a nasty lap Robert Simpson left side dialed 795 taking on Chris Plot right side dialed 5 at 96 Light plot, 20 and four above, take a bunch as Simpson, 61 and eight above. Chris Plot advances. Paige Hamlin left side, dialed 660, taking on Cole Mason, right side, dialed 691. Did she just let out again? Paige is driving the finish line. 34, take five to be two above seven for Hamlin. Mason, 30. And three above, no good. Paige Hamlin, moving on. 
Zach Combs left side dialed 638 taking on Cody Barnhart right side dialed 621. Scooter's done taught Paige how to drive the finish line. Did you hear her, Scooter? He can't hear me. That's embarrassing. I have a good feeling both of these guys can go pretty far under their dials. Just, I got a gut feeling that's, that tells me that, you know, we can cover the dial significantly. Oh, Barnhart hang on. Winlight goes to Animal, 55 and 6 over as Barnhart was 19. But looks like he spun, drove it out right and brought it back. And just couldn't make up the ground. Zach Combs squeaks by by the skin of his teeth. All right, racers, we're wrapping up round five. We need round six in the lanes. No later than 1245. We need round six in the lanes. No later than 1245. And we can get one more round in. We'll go into tomorrow with 12 cars. So racers, we need everyone back in the lanes, ready to race at 12.45. That'll give us just enough time to get in by curfew. And we'll move to a manageable number in the morning. So here we go. Got just a few more cars left to run in this round. So a couple of Mustangs gonna do battle right here to see who will earn the right to advance to round number six double o david bell left hand side out of beaver or excuse me beer creek bear creek goodness it's been a long day bear creek alabama for david bell dial 597 taking on chris fields out of Coryton, tennessee dial 582 
Wind light fields 19 takes seven to be two above as Bell 43 dead six comes up seventh out short. Wind light goes to Chris Fields. They bring up the by car. Jonathan Shipman right side out 646. and clicks it off early. So that'll wrap up Automator round number five. Mazir round six needs you in the lanes now. Mazir round number six needs you in the lanes now. Mazir round six needs you here now. Right, once again, racers, need you back in the lanes by 12.45, ready to go. That'll get us one more round done, and we'll move to Sunday with only 12 cars remaining in Friday, and you will go out first, right behind new entry time runs. So let's get one more round of this knocked out. We'll move into Sunday with 12 remaining in Friday's program and you will go out right behind new entry time runs in the morning. We're gonna get this 20 grander completed and wrapped up in the morning. We'll finish it up in round one of our Sunday 20K. Racer's doing a great job of getting back, thank you. Jordan Martin, I see you're up here for your winter circle celebration. We'll get to that right behind this round. Scooter Hamlin, like to also get you up here. We'll need to wrap those up fairly quickly, but we want to give you guys your celebration and your due in the winter circle.
racers serving up the very best parts. That's what Mazir Enterprises is all about. Since our first product introduction in the 1980s, we have been in the relentless pursuit of excellence on the track and off, with a mission to produce the very best parts. Problem solving parts for your high performance vehicle. No matter if it's chassis and fabrication, water pump and cooling system, starters and the accompanying electrical or full billet flex plates you're after, look to Mazir for the best solutions. Mazir round six, we need you in the lanes immediately. Mazir round six, if you're not in the lanes right now, you're late. Mazir, round six. Need you in the lanes now. Mazir, round six. If you're not here, you need to be now. Mazir, round number six. If you're not in the lanes, get here now. Mazir, round six. Get here now, please. Welding. Pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions.
Cole Mason left hand side dialed 691 taking on Todd Austin right side as round number six is underway the final round of the night slash morning as it's early in the morning and we're all very tired Double O six and two above gets it done. Mason fifty four and thirty six thou under no good. Todd Austin gets the win light. So that'll bring up Luke Siebert left hand side. Will and AD's ride dialed six fifty six taking on David Harvey the third right side dialed six eighty one. This should be a pretty good matchup right here. One foul red for Luke Harvey, double oh eight. Dead seven, 15 total for David Harvey the third. Siebert a foul red and clicks it off. Harvey advances, that'll bring up bad. Brad Plour left side, dialed 677. And Phil Combs right side, Phil Billy, dialed 632. Another nasty matchup. Rolling to the starting line as we work our way down to the nitty gritty remaining in the Friday 20K. Three foul, separate them up first. Win light floored 16 dead, 824 total. Combs, 19 take eight to be three thou under. Had to take five or less. Win light goes to bad Brad. Jonathan McCandless left side, dialed 681. Taking on Jamie Holston in the right. Holston dialed 621. McCandless 15 dead, one take 18 thou, he's 16 total. Holston 36 and two thou under, no good. Jonathan McCandless advances. Lee Norton left side, dialed 666, taking on Jonathan Shipman right side, dialed 646. Dead one, take nine thou. He's 22 total. Shipman, 23 dead. Eight, not a bad lap. Comes up nine thou short. Lee Norton to round number next. Josh Epperson left side, dialed 635 in the Danger Ranger. Going to take on Brooks Stevens right side. Stevens dialed 66, or excuse me, 604.
two vows at the end. To Stevens, 18, two above, nine take 25, foul, Epperson, 16, and five above, no good. Brooks Stevens moves on. Eric Toft, left hand side, dial 596, taking on Chris Fields, right side, dial 583. Take 26 foul, Toft, 15 and four above, no good. Chris Fields to round number next. That'll bring up Paige Hamlin, left-hand side, 661 is the dial. Taking on B.L. Stevens, right side, down 648. two to be two above as Page missed it and put it dead nine, no good. B.L. Stevens advances. Zach Combs left-hand side. The star fired out 638, taking on Justin Holston right side, out 628 in the Chevy two. Take 18 to be three above. Holston 44, one above seven was locked out. Zach Combs gets the win light. Is that'll bring up the Cougar Daddy left side. Chris Plot down 596, taking on Tez Powell on the right. Powell dialed 633. Powell 33 and 4 thou under gets it done. Plot 40 gets their first 2 thou to be 13 thou under. 9 thou margin of victory. The wind light goes to Tez Powell.
Side dialed 676, take it on Chris Fields in the right dialed 582, final pair of the night. Dunaway, 44, one above, eight gets there, 23, Thal Fields, 64, two above, one is no good. Brody Dunaway will advance to round number next, and that will wrap up as far as the on-track action tonight. Thank you to all the people who stuck around watching on Motor Mania TV, letting us get through the night doing what we had to do. So we'll be back up and running. Motor Mania will go live at 8.45 in the morning. So everybody be ready. Also, racers and spectators, don't forget 8.15 a.m. chapel service under the tent with Jeff Gallagher. And again, Motor Mania TV going live at 8.45 in the morning for day number last of the 18th annual BTE World Foot Brake Challenge here at Bristol Dragway. Thanks, everybody, for your cooperation today and the live whenever and we'll be back at you tomorrow for taking the last Okay, that's a wrap for tonight. Um, congratulations to Jordan Martin uh, for his victory this Saturday, 20K. Uh, they are doing a winter circle, but uh, we're kind of not included in that. So, uh, but they are having a celebration down there. Anyway, congratulations to, to Jordan, also to Daryl uh, Scooter Hamlin. Uh, for his runner-up uh, in today's event. Now, we will pick up tomorrow, ooh, I believe, uh, they will begin with round one and, uh, of the Sunday 20K. And then they'll do kind of like they did today. But I, I'm not certain on that. They might go with the, uh, I think there's 11 left. He said 12, uh, but I believe it's 11. So anyway, what time is it? 0107 was when the last car went down the track. Okay. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you to Affordable Elegance Limos, Big Car Sports Fair, Mac Performance Inc., and Southern Maryland Mac Company for bringing us in and keeping, uh, sorry, the live feed completely free to you, the viewer. We've been live for like 17 hours, so so that's why I'm like, ah, losing it here. Okay, we will see you tomorrow at 8.45. And uh, yeah, say your goodbyes to each other, and we'll see you then, okay? See ya.
regulators, filters, champions.